alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Guys, this is a very important vlog. Um, so please, uh, I do require your undivided attention. Just for a moment, please. I'll try to keep it as short and brief as possible and to the point. Now, you've got NATO re-establishing a Cold War era commands force as Russia's submarines having this huge activity within the vicinity. You've got the Daily Mail, the Express, the Political, America, International, the Hill, uh, Financial Times, all of them are covering this story. What you need to be aware of is today's date, which is the 23rd of December, and it's almost turning 8 p.m. Um, now, I'm going to quickly take you, you'll see exactly where I'm going with this particular story, is uh, this particular vlog which was posted by me, by the way, if you look at the date over the 18th of December, I had no foreknowledge of this, by the way, but then you'll come to appreciate now how I see these certain patterns and then certain occult speak um, uh, doctrines and their, their language and uh, the ability to decipher uh, these kind of allegories and um, um, symbolism that they have in place to communicate with each other. You'll see that I've also dated, I mean, uh, titled this particular vlog Science PDF. What I did was make it private when I actually uploaded it on the 18th of December because I didn't want to be under the radar. I certainly didn't want to um, publish this before the date simply because I would have very easily uh, have um, got myself into trouble. Uh, you'll come to learn exactly why in a second. Now, what you see is on a vlog that was posted by me on the 18th of December, I draw your attention to December, and I say, let those of you with discernment understand why the 21st, the 22nd, and the 23rd. Understand that today is the 23rd, and those articles about the Russian submarines have just been published today, and they're talking about its activity. Now, if you bear with me for a moment, you'll see the next slide that I put on it is the Russian Acula submarine and warfare. I did that deliberately because I wanted to draw your attention to this. Right? Why the 21st, 22nd and 23rd? And I posted this on the 18th. So I had a reasonable amount of foreknowledge, at least understanding, of what was coming next and what they're staging the Shiatin in, in St. Jin. Now you'll see the image depicting America, specifically New York, but the states and the connection between the Russian submarines and then the states. And you'll see exactly where I'm going with this now in a moment. Right. Now, please remember the dates, by the way, because that particular article was published today. Right. Now, what we've got, I want you guys to bear with me here. Now, this is occult symbolism uh, 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 at its highest. You've got Obama wearing a square, which basically means he's graduated now in terms of Freemasonry. Right. You understand I've mentioned the phallic symbol quite often, and that's exactly what the penis represents. Uh, uh, is the phallic symbol and again so do rockets so please understand that there's many other things that represent the same thing but we won't discuss that for the moment also two X's represent Freemasonry by the way guys hangman again is alluding towards trouble now I want you to remember the shark okay I'm not going to mince anything over here or any of my words I want you to remember the shark right and then I want you to remember the drops of semen and over here Obama pointing towards right his lips with his finger and then you'll also see right this part of the state being highlighted in this particular map so we're talking New York and that side hence why I actually put that image on right now if you follow this train of thought just keep everything with you for the moment now you remember uh, Obama right now with his finger towards his lip. You've got the god Horus over here. Horus is the son in Egyptian mythology, is the son of uh, Isis and um, Osiris, right? And it represents the Antichrist, the Jalanatulayali, right? The sun god, the sun god Ra. And we've discussed how uh, masonry gleans its religious beliefs from, from. Uh, uh, ancient Egyptian doctrines as well as Babylonian doctrines right now you see that finger that's exactly what Obama was doing right which is a graduation this is the ushering in that age which is round about I'm going to say seven years where in which they're going to create a lot of trials and tribulations in terms of war and everything else and this is almost 
ushering in that. So I think something's going to be around the corner and it's going to happen. We discussed the winter war. Well, this is it. And this is the speak, the code speak that they speak about. And I keep on mentioning and trying to draw the attention of our beloved Ulama Ikram too. Now you see what I'm going with this in a moment. You saw also Obama wearing a, a graduation cap, which is a square over here, right? That square. Let me take you to masonry. Okay, the square and the circle shapes. So what they believe in masonry is when you circle the square, you become a 33rd degree mason, right? Squaring the circle, however, does not, in this case, refer to mathematical problems. It is a spiritual reference to man's instinctive quest to harmonize our physical and spiritual natures, right? Said to be the primary goal of the masonic craft, right? Their primary goal is to square the circle. That's why they say the gentleman's a square guy. This is exactly what they mean by that. He's not a rough ashlar anymore. He's graduated. And this is exactly what the cap on top of Obama's head represents here. Now let's go back to the sperm now. This is important. Please follow me on this. Right? If you see, remember the phallic symbol represents a rocket. You've got a rocket. But also you've got a two-in-one. You've got a double-edged sword here. This rocket itself makes a shape of the semen, a man's semen. And also, for those of you who've studied this video carefully, and it was very interesting that this happened last night, which is the 22nd. I mentioned the dates 21st, the 22nd, and the 23rd in my video that was uploaded on the 18th. What you've got over here is something that looks eerily similar to male semen. In terms of when I say semen, I mean the sperm, right? And it's heading towards a crescent moon, which is considered the feminine, Isis, right? And the phallic symbol is considered Osiris. And Osiris losing his phallic symbol. This is all masonry, by the way. Please, beloved all my God, study this. This is exactly what they're communicating here, right? So what we've got, and it, we can judge whether these are coincidences or not. Uh, actually, let me take you to the submarine as well, which is important, just as important. Okay, so what we've got... Remember I mentioned the shark over here? And I said this shark represents a submarine. Well, you'll ask, well, how did I come to that conclusion? And I also, on the 18th of December, put a slide of a, the Russian s submarine, the Akula. Again, I couldn't have foreknowledge of what was going to happen today, but that's exactly what's come up, right? And I mentioned the date specifically as well. So let's go to this now. Okay, um, where is it? The new submarine has been dubbed the Super Shark. Right? And look, Akila boats, known as sharks. You can't make this up. You really can't make this up. SubhanAllah. Yeah. And then you've got today's date Russian submarines, Akila, and today's the 23rd. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protecting guiders. It seems like they're about to start this. It's all scripted. And our beloved Allah Maikram need to know that. And we also need to understand the sort of forces we're up against. They're very dark. Their intentions are very dark. And they are all in it together. I've always mentioned it's a Hegelian dialectic, right? And there is a for and against, but they're all in bed together. I've also alluded towards Erdogan being part of the same clique. Our beloved Allah Maikram really need to urge caution with regards to this individual. It's a very, very complex uh, um, chess game that's being played and the synthesis is uh, a global governance which they can then hand over to uh, the Jalan of the Antichrist and um, this is exactly what they're working towards they're not conspiracy theories these are conspiracy facts and we need to really now maybe perhaps uh, be in a place subhanallah where we can start becoming muhtad to what's really happening on the globe. It seems we have one level of understanding about some uh, uh, topics and some knowledge and then everything else. Islam is holistic, subhanAllah. You know, and through the eyes, uh, through, through, through the knowledge of the you know, Quran and Sunnah and Hadith, we have uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala endows us with the ability to be able to see with the nur of the heart, subhanAllah. And we need to start seeing this, uh, what's really happening in the world. It's very important. It seems we're very confused and it's heartbreaking that we can't see what really is happening. I mean, seriously, none of this could be made up. And like you've seen, and I've uh, provided, provided evidence to support that. 
had, had already had postulated this. Again, I'm only going to draw the attention of our beloved Olamai Ikram for those of you who maybe are um, um, 